for one hour. Hi guys, welcome back to another cleaning motivation. As always, that is what my channel is about. And in today's video, we are actually going to power our clean. And all this means is we only have one hour to do whatever we need to do. It could be in your to-do list, laundry, whatever it is, but we only have one hour to do so. So with that, with that further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so for my power hour cleaning with me is actually the living room and the kitchen. And I only have these two rooms to do in my one hour uh, power hour clean routine because these two rooms are actually the messiest in the house right now. Um, I mean, the living room is not too bad. I just need to tidy up in here. But the kitchen, it is always a mess and... I don't know so it takes a little bit longer for me in, in the kitchen and since I only have one hour I included it in this power hour cleaning with me um, but I also wanted to mention that this was Adriana's video request for me um, she's the one that inspired me and actually gave me the motivation to even start this video she was telling me how much she really enjoys watching this because um, that way I just focus one hour on what I have to do and then the rest of the day is just for us girls and Doing our nails or watching a movie or she loves to go to Dollar Tree and stuff like that. So Shout out to my baby girl. Give it a big thumbs up for her because um, she is watching and So yeah, so that is why I am inspired to do this video is for my baby girl. I love you princess. Right, since we already know Adriana's favorite uh, cleaning videos are now mine is I would have to say is whole house clean with me I know that sounds crazy but honestly it is my favorite favorite of all time to do and that is because it focuses on the whole house not on just one room at a time and I just feel so much better when the whole house is actually smelling fresh and clean and uh, I don't know, but that one is my favorite. So now that we're putting things on the table on whose um, favorite cleaning videos are, now I we want to hear from you guys. What is your favorite cleaning video? What inspires you? What is your cleaning motivation? So leave it down in the comments. Let me know. And this will also give me some video ideas as well that I can create for you guys. So leave them down in the comments. Can't wait to hear from you. All right, so we are pretty much done with the living room. It was very easy, don't you think? All we had to do was just pretty much just tidy up in here, fix the pillows, fluff them up a little bit. And um, now we're just gonna move on into sweeping. Now, if you have a vacuum, you can go ahead and use your vacuum, but I don't know how many times I actually say this, but um, I actually enjoy my broom. I was actually thinking on spending a couple of more dollars on a good broom that I seen on Amazon, which I think I'm going to go ahead and get it um, because I keep using um, or buying from Dollar Tree because they're, obviously they're only like $1.25 for a broom. Um, but I probably just stick with the brooms for when I need to clean outside my house, like the porch and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, um, that is all we have to do here. And then we can go ahead and move on into the kitchen where it's going to take a little bit longer 
I feel like in the kitchen like always the living room literally just took me about 15 20 minutes and the rest of the time is gonna go into the kitchen and those dishes All right, so now I'm wiping down the table as usual, putting the stuff away where it goes, and then we're just gonna spray it down with some Pinolin, and that is what I have on my spray bottle at the moment, which I'm not going to lie, it's been like this for a long moment. I've been using Pinolin for everything in my house right now. I am, I've loved it before. I don't know why I stopped using it, but I'm back at it, and no, the video is not sponsored, <laughs> but I just want to rave um how good that product really how good that product really is um, I do purchase it at Walmart depending if they have it in stock most of the time they don't for me so family dollar also carries it as well for about 565 I believe um, but yeah so you can use this product I think it's like a one gallon um, Pinyalin, and you can use it for your floors your counters I also use it in my laundry believe it or not um, and then that is pretty much it like it goes it just you can use it wherever however you want to and then I just use this cut up t-shirt that Chris has been doing lately which I have to admit I am loving because it also saves money on that and you guys know how expensive things are getting to continue buying uh, microfiber cloths and cleaning products and that sort of thing so I'm a really cheapo person I always want to look for a DIY or find another way to reuse or repurpose things so I love that Chris is cutting up old beat up t-shirts that I can use to clean I can either throw it away if I want to or I can just put it in the washer with some Pinyalin as well as in there um, but so yeah so that is what I wanted to talk about here and um, I think that's it but yeah, I'm really enjoying that being y'all in. <laughs> All right, so I know I talk a lot, but right now I feel like I'm gonna talk a lot. <laughs> Just bear with me, but since now I'm gonna be cleaning my range, I do wanna explain a little further on, um, as you're gonna see that I continue to use the same cleaning cloth for my range onto my countertop. Now, that is because this shirt, this beat up shirt that Chris has been cutting, um, this one is actually very big and you will see me throughout the video that I do fold it a couple of times um, to get the clean dryer side um, and all this truth my range is really not that dirty I actually deep clean my whole kitchen and my range on my previous video which I can link in for you guys if you're interested in watching that but back to what I was getting to um, my range is not dirty whatsoever it's not greasy or anything like that all I did this morning was those two eggs for Adriana and that was pretty much it but um, that's why you see me using that same dishcloth or not dishcloth that same um, beat up t-shirt cut up t-shirt for my I clean it for the range and then my countertops and then I also clean my drawers with it um, but don't think I'm being nasty or dirty because I'm not it is clean um, and now <laughs> if you're wondering um, I haven't been cooking in my kitchen it's been I don't know I want to say a month sadly it's been a month I haven't cooked and you know what I actually miss it my kids my family we we miss that home-cooked meal um, and I haven't been cooking because my house has been 
very very hot we here in texas we've been in the triples and it's just a lot of humidity um this is a rented home so i feel like in my honest opinion this house isn't insulated very well so we've been dealing with a lot of heat inside the house as you guys can tell in the beginning of this video i have a fan um right in the living room while i'm cleaning because i'm it's literally dripping in sweat right now as i'm cleaning this um doing this video and as you guys can tell i'm wearing one of chris's work shirts um because it is a dry fit shirt so it's going to keep me dry throughout the day um but yeah um that just kind of what's going on right now i can explain really more into depth on what's going on lately why i haven't really been posting um weekly anymore and i can keep you updated if you want to see that type of video maybe we can do like a i don't know garden or maybe just a video on us chit chatting or repotting and chit chat i don't know you guys let me know if you want to be updated on my life on what's going on we've been having a lot of ups and downs which i don't really want to get into right now because this is supposed to be a fun cleaning motivation power hour clean with me but i just wanted to explain on why i'm still continue to use that shirt <laughs> that cut up shirt right there so all right so now we're gonna move on to doing the dishes now i know some of you guys are probably thinking if i haven't been cooking why do i have dirty dishes right well to answer your question that is because i only have um glasses and cups in my sink right now that is because we've been keeping ourselves hydrated through this heat wave here in texas and we've been drinking a lot of water tea lemonade i've also been making agua fresca which i'm very very impressed with myself right now because i made it for the very first time the other day and i don't mean to toot my own horn but it was very delicious it did not last not even five minutes i'm not even kidding you but um i would love to share with you guys one of these days on how to make it or how i made it and it is delicious but anyways, um, as I was doing the dishes um, halfway through and Adriana told me that the timer went off. So I did go over my power hour about 15, 20 minutes, but I didn't want to stop there. I continued to do the dishes as well as what was last was um, sweep and mop my kitchen floors. Um, and that's what is pretty much it and i didn't want to cheat and i didn't want to lead you on that i actually accomplished in one hour all this so um go at your own pace do what you can for one hour if you feel like you want to continue to keep going then girl you keep going and you do it that is what the whole cleaning motivation is about right that we get up and do something we get up and we get it done so anyways, um, now that this is the end of the video, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, I would love that you subscribe. And if you didn't, thumbs it down as well. Um, I love a constructive um, 
criticism that helps me to do and work better on my videos now now i am barefoot i chris hates that i'm barefoot this is so off, to, off topic but chris hates that i'm bare i walk barefoot i do have shoes sandals but i don't know i think i'm just like my mom i love walking barefoot i love going outside and feeling the grass go between my toes i love the feeling of mud rocks hardwood floors you name it um i just love enjoying different types of textures but anyways if you are grossed out when it comes to when i mop and i'm barefoot go ahead and fast forward that part because chris hates it i know maybe some of you guys might hate it as well but like i said you can fast forward that i totally understand and i respect that um but anyway so yes this is the end i hope you guys enjoy subscribe if you haven't already um thumbs it up or down like i said if you didn't enjoy it and again i want to hear from you leave me a comment down below and i don't think i have anything else to say except i love you guys and i will see you super soon in a new video bye thanks guys <music>
Oh yeah, one more thing before y'all go. We should call ourselves Febreze Brothers since it's feeling so fresh right now. <laughs> okay, no for real. Bye. <laughs>